All right, Shalom. Like to give all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the Lord's elect that's teaching His word and sincerity and truth throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Now I have a quick video for brothers. Uh, someone sent me this video, and basically, you know, we in a time. All right, we're living in a time that America is on its way out. All right. In the scriptures, America's name is Babylon the Great. And what these two women are talking about in this video, all right, about this EMP that's supposed to happen here in America, I wouldn't look past it, all right, because we're in a time of Jacob's trouble. We're in a time of that, of that evil day. The Lord said, he said, I come like a thief in the night, all right? And when these calamities and woes, destruction, sedition among men, all right, declaring of world war three this is the end all right and it's gonna come right when you least expect it you know so before i read habakkuk you know let me um let me get uh amos because it just came into mind all right amos 9 verse 8 it says behold the eyes of the lord god all right which is yahweh who the world ignorantly called god okay it says behold the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. What's what is that sinful kingdom? That's America. All right. This place, America, is is a land where 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 idolatry, blasphemy, all right, um, um, homosexuality, anything that's wicked is 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 put on high. This is the sinfulest kingdom. When you look at all different kingdoms of the earth, all right. No kingdom on the earth outdoes America in wickedness. They say this the land of the free, home of the brave. All right, was well, not. This is the land of the wicked, the home of the slaves. All right, which are the Israelites, which is in the Bible called Babylon the Great. All right, it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord, because the Lord have an elect. He has a, he has a remnant. He has a a, a remnant of uh, of of uh, of men, you know, women, children, who he's going to deliver. All right, because you have something called Jacob's trouble that's coming, that's approaching. All right, when they declare martial law, they declare World War Three. They got concentration camps, all right, that these um these Edomites are holding, okay, that people are going to be uh, put into, you know. There's going to be a famine. It's going to be pestilences. People are going to die, man, all right. It says, for lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations like as corn is shift in a sheaf. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's two-thirds of you Israelites, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and you Native and Semi Indians. You are the Israelites, all right? And the Lord told us in Zechariah 13 and 8 and 9 that two-thirds is going to get put to death. Because why? Even in the scripture, it says right here, verse 10, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So because of your pride... Because your ego, your arrogance, all right, because of your non-believing, you think that this this evil, this this uh destruction that the Lord is sending upon this earth is not gonna destroy you. All right. The most high is gonna make good writings of you, man. You know, those that's left here on the soils of America, all right, you're gonna be burned up with thermonuclear fire. Okay. Let me get um back in Habakkuk, you know, because these women that I'm going to play the video, all right, these women are talking about, um, you know, an EMP that's supposed to happen, you know, and these, and, 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 and guess what? It's just a part of prophecy. It's not to look past, you know, um, you know, this information because we understand us of the scriptures are the servants of the Lord. All right. Believing in the scriptures, we understand that the Lord comes as a thief in the night. We understand that that there's going to be a day, all right, that when it's going to change the face here in America, all right, right when you least expect it, 
Okay? So it's now this is Habakkuk chapter 2 and 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch. I will set me on the tower. All right? Because Habakkuk was not only just a prophet, he was a watchman. All right? Just like we are. Uh, us of the hopeful elect. All right? It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me up upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he shall say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And who is he talking about? He's talking about the most high. What is the Lord going to say unto us? Because today, all right, we look for prophecies. We understand what the Lord prophecies are in the scriptures and we look for them to answer us throughout the current events. All right. And the most high judgment goes out every day. Okay. So it says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he shall say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. So even as Hab Habakkuk uh, have done, we, uh, we do as well. All right. We make these shows, these epistles. We go out on the highways and byways which is on the street, and we teach this word, all right? We teach the gospel of Yahweh Shai, all right, which is which is peace, salvation, destruction, all right, to our enemies, slavery, you know, for the rape and rob, robbery and murder that these Edomites, the so-called white people, and you other nations took tack upon us Israelites. It says, and the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision, all right? What's the vision? The vision is the destruction. The vision, you know, is this place being destroyed. Okay? And Yahweh Shai cracking those clouds with those chariots, man. It says, and make it plain upon table. So we make it plain. All right? That he may run that read of it. All right? The scriptures tell you he that is in trouble rests with us. Because we're waiting upon, we're waiting for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? We're waiting upon Yahweh Shai to gather the nations. Because that's his determination. All right, is to gather the nations. It says, verse three, for the visions is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And guess what? That vision is speaking, man. It's speaking. You have famines going on. You got sedition among men out there in Venezuela. All right, you got earthquakes in diverse places. You have this rumor of war, which is World War Three, a thermonuclear war. All right, you got the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, Sweden, Wisconsin. You know, you got all these places, all right, um, using this, this mark of the beast, being, in, being implanted with a chip in your skin. All right, that's the mark of the beast. So it says for the vision, all right, is yet for an appointed time. So it's, a for, it's for an appointed time because there's a, 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 a time, there's a purpose in time and time. It's like, um, so like yeah, let me grab this real quick. I don't want to mess it up. Um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right? So check that out, man. There's a time and purpose under the heaven for everything. And for this destruction, for this end, when we say it's the end of the world, we say it's the end of the world, not as the world supposed to... Uh, you know, the whole world supposed to be destroyed. Matter of fact, let me get it um, to prove it that it's not the whole world. All right. All right. This Ecclesiastes chapter one, verse four, it says one generation passeth away and another generation cometh. But the earth abide forever. All right. So when we say the end of the world, the scriptures is talking about the end of an age. All right. The end of an age of a rulership which is these Edomites, all right? We're in the time of Esau's blessing, all right? And we're at the end of his blessing, okay? So you Edomites, you so-called white people, all right? You about to lose your kingdom. This is it, all right? This is it, man. This is it. And even though the elites, they plan and stage, all right, these events, all right? You know, they have goals to depopulate 500 million, all right? They um, want to microchip. You know, put chips inside of the people. You know, they want to destroy us Israelites. This is the end, man. The Lord said you shall be taken in the devices that you have imagined. So the Lord is going to interrupt your plans, man. Your enterprise. 
All right. So it says Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Because everything is being manifested. It was written on, on, on paper. All right. And now everything is manifesting. Okay. It says and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Okay. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Okay. So you have those out there that, you know, think this is a fab, a phase, or, you know, you call this a cult. You know, you don't believe in these prophecies happening. You think the world will never end, America will never be destroyed. Well, you shit out of luck. All right. So from here, I want to say all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the Lord's elect throughout the four corners of the earth. Stay tuned to the video. I will wait for some viewers. My sister. We got some viewers yet. No, we sent some viewers. Okay, y'all, listen, this is some real shit. Like, hold on real quick. I just, all right, y'all. How y'all doing on Facebook? I'm Kareen. I'm Jan uh, Chantel's oldest sister. Um, I'm coming to let y'all know. Um, hey, how you doing? Hey, how y'all doing? Um, I'm Chantel's sister. And I'm coming to let y'all, hey, how everybody doing? Um, I'm coming to let y'all know that the Department of Defense, our military, has um, not issued a warning, but they've issued an official statement, and they actually did a press conference on it. Um, November 4th through the 6th, it will be an EMP. That's an electronic magnetic pulse, you guys. Okay? That's, again, November 4th. Now, the government says it will only be two days, but November 4th through the 6th, there will be an electronic magnetic pulse going through the entire continent of North America. Like okay? Geostorm. If like the movie it, Geostorm, okay? Listen to her. Now, in real life, I'm not lying to y'all. The reason why they didn't bring it to mainstream media, and this is not me saying this. This is a quote. The reason why they didn't bring it to mainstream media or the media that you watch every day, ABC, CBS, NBC, uh, MSN, uh, MSNBC, all of that. The reason why they did not tell everybody that it was going to be an electronic magnetic pulse being conducted as a drill November 4th through the 6th is because they didn't want to incite panic. But with them not telling us that it's going to be an uh, uh, EMP, you guys, there's no way to prepare. I'm letting y'all know, and I know I might sound like a wide-eyed conspiracy theorist, but I'm trying to let everybody know so they can let everybody know this is true, and if y'all okay, really don't you believe want to, her, y'all need to be on YouTube watching a video. Don't even go to YouTube. Go to the Department of Defense's website, mm -hmm. and they will tell you that they're doing an electronic magnetic pulse. Mm -hmm. That means there will be a very huge blackout. And when I say blackout, November 4th, November 4th through the 6th, when I say blackout, when I say blackout, I don't mean um, you just won't have electricity in your house. I mean, anything that has electrical current going through it will not work. Your cars will not work. Your cell phones won't work. Your landlines won't work. Your Share TVs this video, won't work. please. Share the video so people know that it's going to happen. Listen, please, it's going please, to happen. Yes, please. So go to the stores now because you're not going to be able to go. Okay? And this is on the Department of Defense's website. Okay, this is how much they really care about Americans. They don't even let us know that it's going to happen. They are saying it's a drill. And it's awfully funny that they're doing this drill the same day that Antifa is starting their nationwide uh, riots or the so-called Second Civil War or the start of World War Three. Okay, okay. Our minds. it starts November Open 4th, both the EMP, the EMP, remember, there will be nothing available to you, nothing from November, the government says two days, but I say prepare for a week. Uh, EMP, William Wright, there will be an EMP, an electro electronic magnetic pulse. A blackout. Okay, it's worse than a blackout. Okay, your car is not going to work. Your phones aren't going to work. Nothing that got electricity going through it is going to work. A lot of people are going to die in America because generators aren't going to work. Okay, so go to the store now. 
Go to the store now. I'm not doing this Stand to scare nobody. Video. I'm not scaring, doing this to scare y'all. I'm doing this to prepare y'all. Real shit. Go to the store now and get all canned goods. Anything that you don't have to use a microwave for or a stove for. Period. Okay? Go to the store now and get all of that shit because it's going to happen. And y'all gonna be left out here if you... Look. Real shit. It's like the purge, man. It's no, it's not. Purge. Listen. Yes. Real shit, y'all. The bottom line is, a person, it's going to happen November 4th through the 6th. In real life, if you're not prepared for an electronic magnetic pulse, if you don't believe me, look it up. Go right to the Department of Defense's website and they will tell you. If you're not prepared for the electronic magnetic pulse, you will be dead in three days. Three. You will die. So that three means days. up on your food.
okay? And I'm excited or about it because, not excited like, yeah, it's going to happen, but I'm excited because I know that most of you guys aren't going to believe me. Most of you guys are going to think, oh, she crazy than a motherfucker. This ain't, you, you're welcome. Hey, K, 